Welcome to Alaska, <laughs> where the body's warm and the hands are cold. I gotta, I gotta do a little building here with my bow. I gotta put some arrows together, and then we're gonna be ready to take our first shot since getting off the airplane. I was planning on starting this video uh, forever ago, but well, I slacked off because I'm worried about batteries. The old excitement set in. Yeah, the excitement set in. So, <laughs> golly, my hands. It's taken us a lot of hours to get here. 23 to be exact. 23 hours to be exact. And a couple of uh, plane rides for me. And uh, it's been quite the adventure. I've enjoyed every second of it so far. I'm cracking jokes with none other than Ethan uh, Walls from New Divide Outdoors. You guys will have to go check his channel out. But I've been talking about this trip for a while in some previous videos. A lot of you know, a lot of you may not know, but if you didn't know, you do know now. I was kind of a tongue twister. I don't think I could do that one again. Uh, we're in Alaska hunting caribou, doing uh, some public land, um, hunting up here. And I've been very excited for this trip for quite some time. Since uh, we made it into this spot last night about 3 a.m. and we just basically grabbed the sleeping bags and went to sleep because we were both pretty tired. So um, I'm being waited on right now and I don't like being waited on. So I'm gonna get some arrows ready. <laughs> Get some field tips and then some broadheads and the whole shebang, you know what's going on. So and get some stuff ready, take a few shots, and then we'll be back on the road. We got another 40 miles or so yeah, trip. Not too bad. And then we'll be in uh, an area where we're gonna start our hunting. So let's get rocking and rolling. Both sat put back in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thirty-nine. So our, our rangefinder is pretty close. Yeah. First shots. It's my first time shooting cold weather, and I don't know how long. <laughs> it's been some months. Let's see if I can even get it back. Yeah, that uh, my second shot that I took uh, earlier, I saw the the uh, tail kind of spin on you. Yeah, I know it wasn't the bow because this bow is perfectly tuned before I left. I was a, that's still a dead. Yeah. Dead caribou. Whew, <laughs> that was a far thing. How is it walking in uh, on the tundra for the first time? Dude, this is it's amazing because you look at it and you're like, that's going to be solid ground. And then you get into it and your foot just sinks. Like, I need to find a good spot <laughs> to show them. Because it's like, uh, this one right here. You're like, man, this can be real solid ground. And then your foot sinks six inches, four or five inches. There was a spot back there, I bet I dropped a whole foot. 
never seen anything like this in my entire life, so it's cool. <laughs> I think this is probably the worst I've ever seen you shoot. Yeah, I know. I think it's the nerves? The worst I've ever seen me <laughs> shoot, too. I don't shoot from my knees very often. I had a group about about that size, give or take, at 80 yards the other day, so yeah. I think I can repeat that. Just, oh, you'll be you'll be fine. Yeah. I just knocked the knock the rust off. It's been a lot of days of travel and the excitement and the wind and there's a lot of factors, so I'll be good. Wear some nerves off. There are binos and everything on them. Dude, that one, that one on the back is. There's two bulls in there. Is there? Yeah, close to us. They're on the far left. There's a giant on that one on the left is a giant. We made it to the area where we intended to do some hunting and we ran into some other hunters and we spotted our first four bulls and they were really nice. However, there was like two or three different groups of guys and vehicles that were trying to hunt the same. Hey, there's like a dozen out here. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking at these, but oh, okay. we went further on down the road and probably half a mile, I don't even know, but... No, oh, probably a couple of miles. A couple miles down the road. I've been really paying Pull attention. Back, or I gotta turn the truck out so I can see better. <laughs> We've spotted some bigger groups of caribou, and there's it looks like there's a couple really good bulls. Some bedded, some standing and feeding. Okay, that one in the back, you weren't kidding. That's a good one. Yeah, he's. I thought so. I uh, definitely stick him. Let's see. Two off to the right that are bedded pretty small I think it's just a I don't know it might be cows it's hard to tell from here I'm all shaky we're on about four bulls right now we spotted them you guys saw when we were in the truck and we got in a rush I didn't film a whole lot in between then and now but we're out on the tundra and they're kind of working their way to us there's one really good shooter bull in there zoom in with this camera and try to get some footage but uh, they're kind of coming our way working down into this bottom um, the big bull that's by himself he's off to the far left uh, he's he's definitely nice he gets me super excited but either way uh, Ethan's first up the bat so I'm going to be filming for him we're just going to kind of follow along somebody's going to try to get a shot somebody's going to try to get a shot <laughs> morning from beautiful Alaska. Whoa, look at them. They're just running. Are they? Yeah, they just took off running to the left. Oh my gosh. Kind of towards us though. Yeah. So I that's not bad. Doing caribou things, like you said. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we uh, we had a couple of good stalks last night. Learned a lot. Learned a, a, a lot, a lot about some things that we should and shouldn't do. Um, didn't film a whole lot much after that. Just kind of trying to keep it pretty hunting based, but I will show you guys camp whenever we get back. And we set that up this morning, but as you guys can see, uh, we're just hanging out this morning on this hilltop. We hiked up here probably 30 minutes ago. And as soon as we, well, before we ever even crusted the top, we were already seeing uh, some caribou. We spotted uh, for sure, maybe 
two, two, two shooter bulls. Two shooter bulls. I don't know if I'd shoot them today, but if they give us a chance, I'd do it. Yeah, there's one in there that I wouldn't hesitate to shoot today if the opportunity um, arises. But we're looking at a good probably 25. If you count the ones that are even further out on the next ridge over, we're looking at like a good probably 30, 35 caribou right now. I think what we've decided that we're going to do is instead of you know running and gunning and being super aggressive is just watch and really monitor and see what they're going to do where they're moving and then get around if we can and cut them off and put ourselves in the position to set ourselves up basically um yeah we learned yesterday that a uh, too fast is no good <laughs> so um, we're uh, we're having fun you know it's beautiful slow motion What's that? I think things need to unfold in slow motion. Yes, absolutely. It'll, it'll be slow motion for sure. But we're enjoying the beautiful morning. It's not as cold as it was yesterday, which um, I was really looking forward to the cold weather. But I quickly realized that I am uh, not acclimated yet. <laughs> anyway, it feels good this morning. It's really beautiful. We're going to have some, um, some sunshine in today off and on. And no rain for the next like three or four days so that's that's really good but we're gonna kind of hang out here for a little while watch these caribou i'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys and then we're gonna continue um, probably up and over this ridge or this hill that we're on right now and see what we can spot over that way but hopefully here in the next uh, 30 minutes hour or so we might have a little game plan we can capitalize on it but let's uh, sit back and have fun until then The one at the far right? No, just the far right one. 132 is what I'm getting. Shoot me down soon 